Today we are talking about the Microsoft Technology Associate Certifications, or more commonly known as the MTA. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Zach with IT Career Questions, and we really want to go into detail about the MTA today, the Microsoft Technology Associate Certification. It's a long one, right? There's, there's longer ones coming. Uh, but anyway, the MTA is what Microsoft considers the entry level certification in their certification group. You don't have to have any prior experience or knowledge, although it's highly suggested on my end that you do, but the MTA certs will take you from the very beginning. They'll get you to a point where you can take like the MCSA. What you learn through the MTA is very, very good knowledge if you want to get into an entry-level job in any one of these areas. So let's get into detail about each MTA side of the certifications. So as you can see from the screen, we have the MTA Mobility, we have Productivity, we have Cloud, we have App Builder, and we have Database Fundamentals. We're going to start this off and we are just going to jump right into the MTA Mobility. To give you kind of a really basic explanation with these key technologies that are listed here, you know, Azure Active Directory, that's a, a cloud-based Active Directory. If you don't know what Active Directory is, it helps you manage users and groups and things like that. You also get into SCCM, which helps you manage other packages, helps you deploy images if that's what you're looking to do. Microsoft Intune is designed for managing mobile devices and things like that. So the MTA Mobility really gives you kind of a good general knowledge of how some of these enterprise products and tools that Microsoft uses works. And you'll find a lot of different jobs out there where you need to know what Active Directory is and you need to know what SCCM is. And if you're looking to manage mobile devices and things like that, the Intune will definitely help with that as well. So as you can see here, there's really only like one exam for the MTA Mobility, so you guys can check that out if that's something that you are interested in. Next on our list is the MTA Cloud Certification. And if you are unfamiliar with the cloud, I did do a prior video on that as well, you can check it out in the description, but the cloud part of the MTA really gets you into virtualization and Azure, which are two huge things right now in the IT world. Virtualization, so you can virtualize different environments, you can you know, virtualize different operating systems and things like that, which really comes in handy in a lot of different business environments. We'll set up VMs instead of a physical server. So learning that virtualization is really, really big. Microsoft Azure, that is a cloud platform. So that with the virtualization specialization in the MTA cloud will really help you in this field going forward. I highly suggest the MTA cloud cert because it's gonna give you that fundamental knowledge of how the cloud works and virtualization, which like I said, everybody is virtualizing. Everybody is looking to get into the cloud. So I highly suggest this one. There's really not much to go into. They have one exam for this. So if you're interested in that, again, I highly suggest it. Go check that out. Next on our list is the MTA productivity. So this certification is a little bit different than the rest because this one really targets your Office 365 type of environment. You know, you can see here, you're gonna learn Office 365, Office, Exchange, Skype for Business, and SharePoint. So these are really enterprise tools or programs that are really widely used. Of course, Office is something that is used like almost everywhere, along with Exchange, which is your email application. The MTA productivity is really cloud-based. So tying this together with maybe the MTA Cloud Cert could really benefit you and definitely help you in your career path. There's only one certification test that you have to take and we have it listed here. So again, if that's something you're interested in, go check it out. So next on our list is the MTA Data. And this really will get you a lot of knowledge into SQL databases. And SQL is very widely used across many different enterprise environments because it really will help you compile, collect, and manage your data in a very efficient way. A lot of jobs out there for database administrators, uh, database analysts, and things like that. So if this is something that you're interested in, there is only one certification test that you have to take for this. So go check that out if it's something that you are interested in. So the last one on our list right now is the MTA App Builder. And this one has a lot of different certifications that go along with it because you're gonna learn so much about programming and development and things like that. So check out that list that I have here listed for the different exams because they will obviously show you more along the lines of what you are going to learn. You know, obviously there's, you know, there's introduction to Python, to JavaScript, HTML, and you see the rest there. So if this is a path that you're looking to go down, which is a very, very big industry that we need people for, 
I highly suggest it. If you like to program and app building sounds like fun to you, this would be the best start for you. If you guys are really interested in diving deeper into each of these Microsoft certification areas, let me know in the comments below and we can do a more in-depth video and we can talk about the different kind of jobs that you can get with these certs if that's, if that's something that you were unclear of from watching this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, hit me up in the comments below. Take it easy.